Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel guys. In today's video, I have another book review for you guys. This is from the Complete Hunter. It's 500 deer hunting tips, strategies, techniques, and methods. This is an awesome book. It's chocked full of information, okay? And where I actually found this was a tractor supply last year or something like that. I saw it, it's hardback. I was like, this is really cool, I have to get it. it says, want a challenge? Hunt whitetails. And that's true, here's what the back looks like. The one thing I really like about this, and we're gonna go through some of the tips that it says, not all 500 of them, but it's just the pictures in this book are amazing. I'll try to find some cool ones for you guys here to look at, like that buck right there jumping the fence. That muley, pretty cool. Things like that, there's just all kinds of neat pictures in here and all kinds of different stuff so uh tips for the bow hunters tip for the gun hunters all kinds of stuff yeah back in the day when people used to build their own tree stands which actually isn't that safe but uh it's just neat it's just got all kinds of really cool pictures in here i really like it so let's get into the tips part of it so it's going to take you through like the fundamentals and little tips like that um early season scouting tips for white-tailed deer looking at topo maps all kinds of stuff finding you know where the deer what they're eating on like nuts and stuff in the woods acorns things like that um locations and things you know locating rack bucks terrain features all kinds of stuff Normal buck bedding areas. So, that is probably one of my favorite pictures. <laughs> it's just got some really cool pictures in here. Um, feeding locations, secret buck hideouts, natural camouflage, you know, blowdowns. Attract bucks for a variety of reasons. The crisscross branches and dead leaves offer resting bucks ample cover, but just as important. They allow bucks to twist its head and neck around without divulging his whereabouts. In that manner, a buck can observe you as you approach and gauge whether you see him or you're going to pass him by without noticing his huddled form. So it's talking about, you know, just cool little things like that. Um, and then you get into, like, the perfect tree stand placement and... All that talks about tree stand placement. It talks about tree stands for bow hunters. Right there. Tree stand tips. Talks about tree stands for firearm hunters. Um, scent control tips for hunting deer. All kinds of stuff in here. Pretty neat. Trail cameras. All kinds of stuff about trail cameras. Um... You know, keeping deer from seeing you. The pre-rut. It's going to go through the pre-rut. All kinds of stuff like that. You know, using decoys. All kinds of cool stuff. Um, calling strategies for deer. Just, again, the pictures in this are awesome. Um, rattling. You know, being a dead shot with a bow and arrow. Just just all kinds of neat stuff in here. Got some recurve hunters. Firearms. Yeah, firearm hunters in there too. I, I just really like buck trails. Peak of the rut. Peak of the rut. Just all kinds of cool tips like... Um, Let's see here. Let me find a good tip that I'll read. Yeah. Alright. Tip 336. Bow hunting, doe feeding areas, and doe travel routes are both good strategies for the peak of the rut. Most of the action is generally early in the morning and secondarily late in the afternoon. And it'll just give you neat little tips. All kinds of Wearing blaze orange effectively. I cannot stress safety. Still hunting in camouflage clothing. Um, just 
all kinds of neat stuff. So, talk about snow tracking a mature buck in here. We can go through all kinds of stuff in here, like getting access through the water. That's something that not a lot of people talk about unless you hunt public land. And then that's a lot. It goes it even go then it goes into the late season for deer hunting. So in the snow, the guys wearing snowshoes right there. All kinds of cool tips and tricks. You know, keeping warm, keeping warm. Um, and things like that. It's pretty neat. Hunting bucks in the snow, postseason scouting, and looking for sheds. So y'all, this is just a little look at the uh, the book here, and then the acknowledgments page. I'm sure you can find this on eBay or Amazon. I'm not sure. I haven't looked yet, but it's still a really neat book to have on the shelf, and I like looking at it a lot and the pictures are really cool and things like that so i'm gonna have a few more book reviews coming out today it's been raining um if you guys want to check me out i have a facebook page dg outdoors channel on facebook you guys can go over there and send me a friend request and um you guys get updates on what's coming out normally the day of like if i do i'm going to do a hunting vlog and what it's going to be called so you guys know about the videos coming out or videos like this things like that stuff for my second channel daniel ray karaoke i haven't posted a video there in a while but i do like to do karaoke and sing country music karaoke i have a whole light set up a microphone i do it here in my kitchen sometimes i do a five song uh karaoke concert i call it and just have fun guys so uh y'all remember like comment subscribe jesus loves you i will see you guys on the next one thanks for watching